Okay. Welcome to the 2018 Fine Art Signing Day. Um, today we're recognizing 10 talents who've been accepted into the college of their choice, either in music, theater, or visual arts. Um, we all at Loveland High School are happy to be able to um, share this time of celebration with um, the students and their families. And we thank the families for helping them uh, reach their goals to uh, go on and pursue their passion. So first I'd like to start things off with asking Mr. Uh, Jeff Miller to come and speak on behalf of some of the music students. Thank you, our first, whoa, our first music student uh, and his family is Quinn Caney. If he would please come up. Great. Uh, Quinn is an incredible musician and he's going to be going to Northern Kentucky University to study music education. Um, Quinn is an amazing musician and student leader and is an absolute pleasure to teach. He's an incredibly natural teacher and it just, he teaches all of the time. Um, he teaches in the morning and it just flows out of his mouth like he's been doing it for years. Um, and he does a really, really great job of it. I've relied on him heavily, uh, working with the marching band and the concert bands. Um, he's been extremely mature and responsible and positive all four years that I've known Quinn and has been really incredible. The thing I'm really gonna miss is how well he communicates. Uh, he's an elegant speaker, but even more than that, uh, he will be able to tell me while he's playing um, where he's gonna play, where he wants the crescendo, how it's going, if he catches me making a mistake, he can tell me all of that in the middle of rehearsal. And it's really a fun, uh, a fun way to spend a rehearsal, and he's been a great student to teach. So if we could give a really big round of applause for Quinn Caney. Because our next student is Bradley Williams, if you and your family would like to come up. And your family can come up too, and sit on either side. Good. Not only will Bradley be a member of the National Guard next year, uh, but he'll also be a student at Moorhead State University, um, where he'll be minoring in music. Um, Bradley is an incredible saxophone player. He's our first year saxophone player in the Wind Symphony and the jazz bands. Um, and the biggest thing I'd like to share with you all is Brad really cares about his teachers. And he has since day one. And when I first started here at Loveland four years ago, this peculiar little child came into my office at lunchtime and wanted to know how my day was going. And four years later, every day at lunch, Brad comes in and asks how my day is going. And it's been such a great way, no matter how my day is going, he genuinely cares about all of his teachers and his mentors, um, and he passes that optimism and love to the other students around him. Um, and whether that's in band, jazz band, or even my ridiculous um, music appreciation class that I taught four years ago that he was in, um, <laughs> he's been a pleasure to teach, and I will miss his positive attitude and caring nature uh, after he graduates. So he's gonna do great things at Moorhead State. If we could give a big round of applause to Bradley Wayne. Our next student is Tristan Collins and his family. Next year, Tristan will be studying music education at The Ohio State University. Um, Tristan is an incredible percussion. He was in marching band for four years. He's been in jazz band playing vibraphone and an incredible, um, very diverse musical student here at Loveland High School, playing guitar, the mallet instruments, the battery instruments, um, and all sorts of different things. Tristan is absolutely one of the most creative students I've ever taught. Um, and one thing that I'd like to share with you all is how much he cares about sharing that music and creativity with others. Um, 
My favorite memory would be two years ago when we started rehearsal in the front ensemble and all of a sudden all of the front ensemble instruments had been decorated with vines and different props and that was Tristan's doing. Um, he really likes to include others and in his creativity and share that creativity with others. He's gonna go on to be an incredible music teacher and I'm very proud of his endeavors. So big round of applause please for Tristan Collins. The next student I'd like to invite up is Tim Hansen and his family. Next year, Tim will be studying jazz guitar performance at Indiana University. Um, Tim has been a part of my marching band and band classes now for four years, as well as being an incredible guitar player in the jazz program here. Um, the story I'd like to share with you about Tim is four years ago when Tim was a freshman and he marched the snare drum and our center snare player uh, had a death in the family. And there we were with a freshman at the helm and we put Tim in charge of the entire band as a freshman. And he did incredibly and that's when I knew we had really something special here with Tim Hansen. In four years he's continued to mature and really grow into an incredible musician um, and a smart musician too. Um, so I'm very proud of his gift of guitar playing and can't wait to see how much he's going to grow at Indiana next year. If we could give a big round of applause for Timothy Hansen. <laughs> and the last student I'd like to introduce is Kirk Techmeyer and his family. Next year, Kirk will be going to Beaumont for musical production. And um, Kirk has been an incredible musician and asset to our music programs here for the last four years. Um, he's an amazing jazz saxophonist in the jazz program. He also plays guitar, and he's been an absolute pleasure to teach in my AP Music Theory class. Um, he understands how music works really, really well, especially for his age, and has been able to uh, be at the head of the class in my AP Music Theory class all year long. Um, and I really enjoy his positive attitude and uh, his joie de vivre that he takes with music. So uh, if we could give a really big round of applause for Kirk Techmeyer. Okay, next we will um, introduce some of the visual arts students. I'd ask my, uh, Mrs. Burns to come forward. Thank you. It is my pleasure to be here to be able to talk about Jory. Um, Jory wrote down a little bit of information for me, and one of the things she said was, I dream of creating environments with purpose. And she is going to have the opportunity to do just that at um, UC in the DAP program in urban planning. Um, from what I found out about Jory, both by having her in class and talking to some others, Jory has had the goal of going to um, DAP, to UC in the DAP program for her career here at Loveland High School, and she has achieved that goal with purpose. She has taken almost every art class here at Loveland High School. I think I could name two amongst, I could go over a long list of the art classes that we offer. There were two that she did not take. Um, I remember having her, well, you, did you do AP also? Okay, sorry. Um, I remember having her in graphic arts and she screen printed on one of my stools. So she really strives for her goal and is very creative in that purpose as well. Um, she has consistently worked by taking all of as many art classes as she can, both here at, high, at Loveland High School. She also has taken some pottery classes outside of Loveland High School. She has also worked um, to be very independent. She has held do down multiple jobs throughout her career here in high school so that she is going to be able to achieve her goals. And we look forward to hearing how she does in DAP and especially in creating these beautiful, amazing environments in urban planning. Congratulations, Jory. Okay, next I'd um, like to introduce Mrs. Lynn Niemeyer. She'll speak on behalf of Sawyer Jones. Thank you, Mrs. Grant. 
Sue Sawyer, congratulations. I've had him twice now. I got to start him off in first grade at LECC, where he would come into the room, or room excited, ready to work, very quiet, but very focused on his artwork. And when he'd leave, he'd give me a little high five on the way out. And he didn't do that in high school, though. <laughs> but uh, in high school, he's continued to be extremely creative and really good with perspective, which leads to where he is going to go. He's going to be going to UC next year, the DAP program for architecture. So let's all give him a big round of applause. Congratulations, Sawyer. Okay, next, I'd like to introduce um, Mr. Barrett. He'll speak be, uh, on behalf of Sam Smith. I'm Mr. Barrett. I'm going to try and do this without glasses. I saw Mr. Miller's wearing glasses too. I don't feel as bad. <laughs> Little readers. Um, so Sam Smith, a lot of you probably know Sam Smith already, um, including Mr. Miller here, who's covering the event because Sam works with Loveland Magazine as a, uh, well, I'd say a professional writer, photojournalist, videographer, has uh, op-ed columns within the uh, paper too. Maybe you haven't agreed with some of his opinions, but he voices them very well, I think. <laughs> and he's a very considerate young man. So I think he is a, uh, a very good writer to do something like that, share his opinions in a public paper, public paper like that. Um, so anyway, I met Sam as a sophomore. He won the uh, photo contest here at the high school. And a lot of the students even thought maybe the photograph was a professional photograph that he just kind of threw in the contest or something. But uh, he's just that good. When I went to talk to him, he said, yeah, is this camera, this aperture, this lens, this everything? And that was the first time I had talked to him. I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> well, make sure you take photography, and we'll see you in the future. So he did. Unfortunately, I did not have him, but Miss Woodruff did. I had him in uh, photo two, and Mrs. Grant now has him in uh, AP art. He's uh, done chamber orchestra as well. And the LHSNN, he is our editor and sometimes uh, reluctant uh, anchor. <laughs> <laughs> he prefers to be behind the camera. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed his work with the, uh, the LHSNN as well. So as I said, he's worked for Love One Magazine. He also is a freelance photographer, so he shoots his own portraits and uh, I think maybe even does events, but he does a lot of senior portraits and things like that. So if you need to, uh, just give him a call. Um, he has so many awards, I'm just going to highlight a couple of these things so you have kind of an idea of uh, some of Sam's accomplishments. Um, he's a three-time winner of the LHS Photo Contest, so that's the biggest one. All these other ones don't really matter too much. <laughs> um, he also won the uh, Visual Arts category in the Overture Awards in 2016 as a sophomore, which is enormous and almost unheard of. Uh, he was a semifinalist in the following years in 17 and 18. Also very impressive. Uh, student winner since 2016 in the Montgomery Photo Show, which is our Montgomery here in town. Best of show in that contest in 2017. Um, best cinematography in multiple film festivals, so I'll just crunch all those in there. There's a big one, the All-American High School Film Festival, which takes place in New York City, which he went to and uh, with, which this is kind of cool too, He's part of a film culture here at LHS. And they all kind of went to this competition. And uh, Sam was very uh, influential in creating that culture. Dean Parker was another one that uh, was very much a part of that, too. But back to the contest here. He, uh, what were you got here? Official, official selection in 2016. And he was a cinematographer for four official selections out of five total from Cincinnati. So that's enormous as well and nominated for Best Cinematography. In 2017, Best Direction at the same film festival. And then on to a couple more here. National Film Festival of Talented Youth. That's another very large one in 2016. He had an official selection there. And of course, he started the uh, film club here, which hopefully somebody will carry on in his uh, honor there and uh, keep that up, because it's a really nice club here at the high school. Um, of course, he wants to be a filmmaker, 
and specialized in cinematography, and not to mention the fact that he received a full tuition scholarship to NYU School of Art, the Tisch School of Art. So, congratulations to Sam Smith. Lastly, I'd like to ask that Mr. Sean Miller come on up and we'll recognize a few more musicians. Actually, the, I think they're theater, correct? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I get the pleasure of talking about Kaylee Michael. Um, I have known Kaylee for quite a long time, and there, we're getting to the point where there's a lot of lasts, um, but this is fantastic, and I'm excited for this young lady and what the future holds for her. Uh, she's going to be attending Ball State University for theater studies and musical theater. Um, I've had the luxury of having her in our productions here at the high school. She's done numerous productions around the area, and, and she's one of the finest young actresses I have ever met. Um, she has strength beyond her years. Um, she's an equally as talented vocalist. Um, she's an amazing singer, amazing voice, and has uh, years ahead of her with, with the direction that she's going to get at Ball State, where she's just going to do some amazing things. And I'm excited to see what the future holds for her. Here at the high school, she just received the Director's Award uh, for uh, our cast in Into the Woods for her work there, um, where she did a great job. She's the Vice President of the Thespians. Um, and I, I just, I, I've spent a lot of time with her, and I, at times she still confuses me. Um, she has the ability to laugh and cry at the same time, <laughs> and I don't know how to react to it. Um, uh, but one thing that's never, uh, never an issue is the work ethic and the, the pride she takes in her craft. So um, good luck as you move on to Ball State and I'm really proud of you. I have the privilege of also uh, talking about Delaney Dunster. <laughs> Delaney is going on to Webster University for stage management, and I'm excited for her. I also told her to go learn lots of things and then come back and tell me what what they teach her, so that I can in turn learn from her. Um, I had the privilege of meeting Delaney very early on on my um, softball team, uh, highly successful. Um, we, uh, we tore things up in little, little softball league. Um, Delaney is not just one-sided. Uh, she's also spent a lot of time in the, uh, in the orchestral pits for our shows. Uh, she's been on both sides of the, uh, of the spectrum in the theater productions. This past show, and Into the Woods, she was our student director and did a phenomenal job. Um, I, I don't think many people realize what the job of a student director really is until you're thrown in the position and then you realize it's pretty much everything. Um, and, and she works so well with other people and so well with students. I know she's going to have an amazing career. She won the Director's Award this past, uh, this past show for our crew, um, and it was a hands-down decision. When we talked to the adults involved and said, hey, who, who should get the Crew Award? Um, it was Delaney. Um, it, because of the passion and the pride she takes in every endeavor, um, she's going to be successful in whatever she decides to do. She's also Vice President of Thespians uh, and a Cappy's critic, and uh, we we were very fortunate to uh, be involved with Cappies, and we get to have a Cappies gala here in a few weeks. Um, she recently wrote a skit, I believe, based off of your of your favorite novel, um, and that was that was at the Thespian show this past weekend. Um, really excited about what the future holds for Delaney, and I certainly hope that you stay in contact, Delaney Dunster. <laughs> 